Hey, there you are. Hello, hello, welcome. Welcome back. If you're a subscriber, if you're not a subscriber, if it's your first time, welcome. This is English vocabulary and pronunciation. Every day we review different lists of vocabulary, different topics and themes of uh, words that are useful and common in the English language. As part of enhancing and improving your vocabulary, you can be able to communicate more clearly and understand more effectively. So we're here to help you improve your English communication skills by uh, introducing new vocabulary to you and refreshing your memory on the vocabulary that you might already know. So today's topic is lesson number 18, I believe. The topic is vegetables. Vegetables. There's so many different vegetables and usually we know what they look like. We, I, we can recognize them and they look familiar, but what are they called? How do we pronounce the names of all the vegetables? So we're here to review this list with you today. We have how many? Let's look. 27 vegetables. So just sit back, take a look. I'm going to show you photos of each vegetable so that you can see the word, hear the pronunciation, and see the picture. We just want to help you improve your vocabulary so that you can be a better overall English speaker. So let's get started. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you would like to see a, a new word list with a different category or topic or theme, let me know and we'll be happy to do that for you. New videos every day, so make sure you like, like and subscribe. So here we go. Number one on today's vegetable list is, number one is asparagus. Asparagus. So let's take a look at the asparagus. So here's an asparagus. These are long and thin and green. They kind of look like beans, but they're not. And asparagus is a tasty dish. Goes well with salmon. Goes well with a lot of things, actually. Goes well with beef and chicken. Asparagus. Asparagus. Number two is beans. So many different types of beans. Different color beans, size of beans. Green beans, baked beans, white beans, kidney beans, Mexican beans, French beans. These are all varieties of beans. Beans. Number three, beet. Beets are like a reddish purple, like a purple red type of color. They grow in the ground. These are beets, beets. Number four is broccoli. Broccoli is green and very, very healthy. You can stir fry broccoli. You can steam broccoli. You can put cheese on top of broccoli. Very healthy. Number five is Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts are like little round cabbages. So if you know what cabbage looks like, these look like cabbage, except they're very small and round, maybe the size of a golf ball. Let's see some more photos of cabbages, uh, of Brussels sprouts, sorry. So these are great. I hated these when I was a child, but I love them now love Brussels sprouts now. So our next word is cabbage. Brussels sprouts look like little cabbage and a real cabbage is uh, much bigger, uh, like the size of your head. Cabbage is about the size of your head. It looks a little bit like lettuce. It's a slightly different variety. So this is called cabbage. Cabbage.
Number seven is carrot. Carrot. Carrot is orange. Grow is in the ground. I think rabbits like to eat carrots. So carrots are orange. They're long and narrow. Carrot. Number eight is cauliflower. Cauliflower. Cauliflower kind of looks like a brain. You can have cauliflower steamed or stir fried or how else can we make cauliflower? We can bake cauliflower. Love the cauliflower. Looks a little like broccoli, except it's completely white and crunchy. It's very crunchy cauliflower. Number, speaking of crunchy, number nine is celery, celery. Celery comes in a stalk, a stalk of celery. All these pieces of celery, very crunchy, very crisp. Celery is mostly water, mostly water. So it's not, there's not a lot of vitamins or health benefits for celery. But if you have celery with peanut butter, oh my gosh, celery with peanut butter is amazing. You have to try that sometime, celery. Number 10 is Chinese cabbage. Chinese cabbage is another variety of cabbage, uh, also known as bok choy. Bok choy is the Chinese term for Chinese cabbage. Bok choy is very good when you steam it and eat it with other uh, things like chicken or pork. Chinese cabbage. Number 11 is corn. Corn is yellow and you can eat corn on the cob like this, corn on the cob. Or you can take, you can cut the corn off of the cob and eat it like this in a bowl. This is corn. Number 12 is Cucumber, cucumber. Usually we'd slice cucumber into small circles like this. We can put these on a salad. Just about any vegetable can go on a salad, but I always have, always have cucumbers on my salad because they're, they're sweet. They've got a great flavor, cucumber. Number 13 is eggplant. Now eggplant has nothing to do with an egg. Nothing to do with an egg, so, but it's called eggplant. It's a vegetable that grows in the ground. And fried eggplant is amazing. Or grilled eggplant, delicious. It's kind of soft. The outside is purple. And you can make eggplant that actually looks like pasta, eggplant parmesan. So there's a lot of things that you could do with eggplant. Number three is green pepper. Green pepper. Sometimes we call this a bell pepper. And the green pepper or the bell pepper comes in red and yellow also, but this is the green variety different types of green pepper. You can stuff the green pepper by putting things inside. You can put some, a mixture of beef and corn and cheese and rice, anything that you want to. You can stuff the green pepper. Number 15 is Japanese radish. Japanese radish. Not a green Japanese radish. Let's find a Japanese radish. There it is. Japanese radish looks like a carrot, but it's white. Oh, that's interesting. Japanese radish. And to be honest, I don't know if I've ever had these, but these are very popular in different parts of the world, but they look like carrots, like white carrots. 
Japanese radish. Number 16, I hear a lot about this vegetable lately because it's supposed to be very healthy, is kale. Kale is a leafy green vegetable that you can use to make a salad or you can make a kale drink and drink it. It's so healthy. Kale. Everybody's eating kale now. I'm not sure why. I think it's because it's so healthy. Number 17 is lettuce. Lettuce is the foundation for most salads. You put lettuce on a salad and then add your other vegetables. Maybe add some salad dressing. Lettuce is green and leafy and crisp and crunchy. Lettuce. Number 18. Okra. Okra. What does this look like? Okra. Kind of looks like a pepper. It's green. Um, I don't know much about okra. I'm not sure about the flavor of okra either. But I know that okra is popular in some places. Okra is how you say that. Number 19 is onion. Onion. Onion has a very strong smell and a very strong flavor. But when you cook an onion uh, with, as part of other dishes, as some flavoring, it's amazing. You can slice the onion and chop the onion and put it into a dish, maybe with some garlic. Garlic and onion together with some beef or chicken. Very good, onion. Number 20 is peas. Peas, peas are green. And they're these little, little round pieces. Peas. A lot of kids don't like peas, but I always love peas. Love the peas. Number 21 is potato. Potato. Potato grows in the ground. It's brown on the outside. It's white on the inside. I like to make a baked potato. You know, when we make potato chips and French fries, that all comes from potato. These are grown in the ground. I like the fried potatoes with garlic and onion. We just talked about onion before. Number 22 is pumpkin. Pumpkin. You see a lot of pumpkins around Halloween in October. We use pumpkins for decoration, but we can also use pumpkins for making pie and different food items. Pumpkin. We can carve the pumpkin to make a face. So pumpkin carving is very popular around Halloween. Pumpkin. I love pumpkin pie, actually. Number 23 is radish. Radish. Radish is red. These almost look like the, uh, the other vegetable that we just saw. There's white, long. What did we just see that looked just like this? Uh, what was the other vegetable? Japanese, oh, Japanese radish. So that's a, so uh, there's red, small, round radishes, and then there's larger Japanese radishes. Number 24, spinach. Spinach. Spinach is another very healthy, green, leafy vegetable. Instead of putting lettuce on my salad, I usually put spinach instead because I think spinach has more vitamins. And one of my favorite dishes is stir-fried spinach. Looks like this, stir-fried spinach. Number 25 is sweet potato. Sweet potato. We saw the regular potato. The sweet potato is a little different because it's sweet. It's much sweeter than a regular potato. And it's orange on the inside. You can make a baked potato, but it's sweeter. And I've had sweet potato french fries before, and they're so much better than regular french fries. So sweet potato fries. Sweet potato. Number 26 
is tomato. Tomato. The British might say tomato. I'm American, so we say tomato. Tomato is actually a fruit. Most people don't understand or realize that tomato is actually a fruit. But because we put tomatoes on salads and we eat them with other vegetables, people think that these are vegetables, but tomato is really a fruit. So there's small, potato, small tomatoes, large tomatoes, and green tomatoes. Tomato. And finally, number 27. Turnip. Turnip. Turnip looks like a radish, uh, except it's white and purple. Or some of these are just white. Radish. Radish. Great in the salad. So these are all great in salads. Vegetables are amazing. I love vegetables. They're so healthy. They're crunchy. They're a great alternative to a snack or if you want something sweet like candy, have vegetables instead because you're going to get the health benefits. It's good for your body and you can't go wrong by eating lots of vegetables every day. So guess what? That's it. That's our list of 27 vegetables. I hope that you have learned something. That's why you're here, right? And we're here to help you learn, to help improve your vocabulary so that you can communicate more clearly. Learning English isn't always easy because there's so many words and there's, um, there's phrases and expressions and grammar, pronunciation. It's, it's challenging. But if you practice every day, I'm sure you'll improve and you'll keep improving. So check back every day. We have new videos all the time, usually every day. Each day is a different topic with a list of words that I will show you the word, the pronunciation, and a photo and describe everything. So please come back soon. I'm glad that you're here and I hope to see you again soon, soon, soon. So have a great day, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.